so you switched jobs just to follow your passion? Yes, I did. Wow. I, did. I, I think this is so, so, so great. So what would you tell a young person who wants to join maybe journalism? Okay, not only journalism, but start something up, but they have the fear of failure, the fear of what people say. Maybe some some youths are suffering from things like low self-esteem, lack of finances. Some people just have fear, fear of the unknown. They, they, they feel like they don't count. They feel like they're not recognized. Yeah, that, like they have a lot of fear holding them backwards so they can't just step out. Well, what would you tell a youth like watching this channel right now and wondering what can I do to become a better person than I am right now? The, I mean, first of all, that's that's a really profound that you mentioned that because it's it's true you know i see many guys who are despairing or they're like you know what stuff is not working just go back to the retreat and just pff, say you know what it's not working so let me just let me just do away with it mm -hmm. but i want to encourage um the young person watching and telling them you know what there's resilience they staying true to yourself and they're saying you know what um i want to pursue this I don't have the money, I don't have the means, I don't have the support, mm -hmm. but deep down, I keep saying it's called the fire in the belly. Deep down, you're like, you're so, there's something, you know, you're not sleep comfortable at night because it will keep disturbing. You'll be like, you know what, Angie, go for it, go for it, go for it. Mm -hmm. And that's what you need to wake up to every single morning and say, you know what, yes, uh, I, I know the odds are against me, but you know what, I'm going to push and I'm going to push and I'm going to hustle. When, uh, th three points I say, I keep on telling guys, stay sharp. Stay focused, all on God. Stay sharp, stay focused, all on God. This means, and you know in motorsport we keep on saying it, it's called pedal to metal. Mm -hmm. You have to step on that pedal. Don't let your foot off the gas. So you say, so you have to keep pushing and keep pushing. Especially when you see that end coming. And for us, the end is normally the flying finish. Where you have to really come really fast to the end. And you know what? The last drive, you know, you have to just keep on, you know, um, having that passion and resilience. I mean, you get the words courage. All these things are what you actually need to put on your pillowcase when you sleep. You write them on a sticky note. You put them up on the wall. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up, you can see it. You can see it. You can believe it. Mm -hmm. You can dream it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can focus for it. So for me, that's that's actually what I'd advise the person watching and to just tell them, you know what, guys, take advantage. I mean, the, the, the world is talking about youth. You know, the world is talking about youth. The, the, the country is talking about youth, the leadership is talking about youth, they talk about the government, you know, they, they're all looking at how do you promote youngsters, how do you promote youngsters, how do you give them an opportunity. So, this is a chance, this is an opportunity, such as you're doing, you know, leveraging on technology. Millions and millions of youth will be transformed through this across the world. And, and that's the opportunity with this, you know, it, it doesn't have to say, no, what I'm, I'm a new person here and I'm just trying to go into it. I know. <laughs> I keep saying the world is your oyster. Mm -hmm. And oh, you just reminded me, what's it about you and caressing? Are you paid to do it or is this a passion or a hobby? You know, um, I saw a friend called Joshua. He was a drama guy. Mm -hmm. He used to be in high school there. So, so I, was, I was an assistant school captain. Mm -hmm. Joshua was a school captain. So I used to be like... Uh, at times when he's busy, he'll say, you know, I'm going out for drama festivals. I'm one of the main actors. Mm -hmm. So he's very smart in his books. He had the leadership skills through uh, being a school captain. And he also was a drama, uh, was a drama guy. He used to be very successful and get all the certificates. Mm -hmm. I got yours. I'm like, this guy, me, I only have my education and my leadership skills. I don't have a Nothing passion. Nothing else. I don't have anything else. <laughs> anyway, so that was just back in high school. But anyway, I realized that I've always had a passion of driving driving cars and, and long time I don't know if my dad is watching I hope he's not I used to steal this car with a, with one of the one of I the I hope cars. he's watching <laughs> with a teaspoon yeah there's a car that in the ignition was failing so but you could you know turn it on with a teaspoon so I used to do that and drive it around the compound driving around the compound ah uh, so your love for vehicles started when you were way kid. back way back way ah back. okay so um, I used to steal on and run and then I realized okay apart from stealing then how can I turn this into a passion uh, How can I turn this into something I can do? Then I realized it's the motorsport. Mm -hmm. And thanks to Azar Anwar, I actually went in. And starting from the trenches. Let's go back to starting from the trenches. I was, I was in campus. Mm -hmm. I was a school as a student leader. But at the same time, every evening, I'd go to a garage, wear an overall, and start touching all the grease, nuts, bolts, 
helping in the preparation of race cars. So if you're not an ank, I think you would have done something to do with maybe... Motorsport, in, yeah, exactly. for instance, maybe talk sport management, mm -hmm. something like that. That's sort of something I'll do, but it's nice to do it as a passion because it's such an expensive sport. Mm -hmm. um, so you just do it as a passion, you know, and maybe as a side uh, thing over the weekend. Because again, you cannot race every day. It's a very risky, um, very risky um, uh, sport. So you also want to make sure you do it in a very safe environment. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's been a great, great experience, you know, um, through that working with Aza, you know, got exposure to Mohammed Ashraf, who's based in Uganda, he's a rally driver, and he gave me the opportunity to um, sit with him. So in motorsport, when you say sit with him, it just means like, be a co-driver. Oh, yeah, okay. Co -driver. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just the language, yeah? So sitting with him, it's a, so really the pace notes, yeah? Mm -hmm. I can share, you can see some of the pictures, as you can see, I mean, that's just to be very good and, and for growth but what that taught me is a lot of lessons I took from motorsport mm -hmm. I actually apply in my career like you know like when on TV when you're going on air mm -hmm. they count you down they say five four three two one you're on air mm -hmm. and then on, on the field or on the racetrack comes a three two one then the lights go green um. and when you, when you hear the lights go green you have to be on the foot to the you say pedal to metal Foot on the gas, and, and you don't like, fear oh, things like accidents. No, no. Because even when you go on air, I mean, you have to like go for it, you know. So I must say that it's. Uh, I really thank God for my life up to this juncture. For me, it's now planning the next few years, and after being 30 now, you say, okay, well, what does what am I not doing really right, or what can I improve on, what can I do this? Maybe I need to now go back to racing. Okay, I've not been racing for a while. But at least I bought a buggy now, which a buggy is a small car to just practice with. Oh, okay. So I'm really, really hopeful of the future ahead. Well, I think that's so great. So, Lavan, as we conclude, can you please tell us what you'd love to be remembered for? Wow, that's very profound. Um, first, I'm also very big on family and lo I'd love to be remembered as uh, this caring um, husband. Mm -hmm. uh, I should mention husband because I'm actually fine. Husband to be. Husband to be. Um, the invitation says <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah, she's called Laura, so she's a uh, force behind me. She has to contend with all this. Uh, Laura, I'm waiting for <laughs> the invitation, guys. Uh, she has to contend with all this, you know. Mm -hmm. So I call her my first lady. Um, mm -hmm. So Laura, um, being a very passionate husband, a very passionate um, have a father who will leave the family mm -hmm. in, in the ways of the Lord mm -hmm. and just making sure that I can also let, just live up to that ability, live up to that calling because it's very profound. It's very profound to just be be that. That's on the family side, but at the end of it all also being a, being a, a person who, you know, your colleagues, your friends at work can look up to and say, you know what, I really enjoy working with him. I really, um, I'm happy being around him. And if you start from the family and you go into society, you just change the world. You know, I wouldn't want to be too cliche and just say I want to be a transformational leader out there, mm -hmm. but I feel I need to start from my family, move into my society, and then change the world. Well, I think that's so great, love and congratulations in your upcoming wedding. I think it's late this year or Thank early you. next yes, year. Yes, it's late this year. Um, uh, it's actually coinciding with my 30th birthday, wow. so it'll be a great milestone. Congratulations in, in advance and thanks so much for your time. I know you have a tight schedule, but you, you still had time for me. I'm so exactly. grateful. Thank exactly. you for having me, Angela. Thank Appreciate you so it. much for your time, loving. Thank you very much. Oh, and to the viewers out there, it's just to remember to like, subscribe, and uh, press on that bell so that you can be getting notifications on the more upcoming videos uh, and the great work you're doing. Angela, and get inspired. Go for it. <laughs>